Hello, hello, hello. Today I have something a bit different to show you because this time this is not a cardboard robot, but it is a box. <laughs> it's quite big and bulky and heavy uh, because it's full of equipment, uh, but it's not the equipment I want to talk about, but the box itself. Over the years for Lo-Fi Robot I have been designing quite a few of this kind of laser cut boxes, but I think this is my best design yet. And it is a crate to store cardboard robots equipment in your school. Um, so, how does it work? Uh, first feature is this uh, rubber band here on top where you can put your stencils like this or even tablets, laptops and carry it on nicely to the classroom. Oh, then it becomes really heavy but the rubber bands keep it safe on top. And the rubber bands also is the uh, thing that keeps the box together when you store it. You can remove it like the lid like this. And here you have the first floor when you have compartments for microbeats, uh, 180 servos, 300, 60 servos and USB cables. The box is designed for 10 kits, so uh, you would need like two uh, 360 and two 180 servo for, for each micro bit, so 20 of these and 20 of these. And I think it's a good solution to keep them in one box and not to give them in separate boxes uh, for students because then you can give away the, mi the micro servo motors to the students uh, during the class at the moment when they exactly need them. So they don't, they don't have them available at the table uh, the whole lesson and they don't fidget with them. They don't move these motors by hand and they will not break them. So I think it's better to give the motors personally to the students at the moment when they exactly need them and not at the beginning at the lesson. So this is the front top and then there is the second floor of this box and here you have compartment space for rulers like 10 of these metal solid rulers scissors screwdrivers paper clips i lately started to using them extensively they are fantastic uh, I re i'm replacing rubber bands with these paper clips they are super easy to use and totally reusable and there is also a place for 10 of these also laser cut boxes, little boxes with the moving lid for nuts and bolts. So up to 10 of these boxes, you can store them over here. And this is like a minimal setup, but I think uh, it's good to, to keep the hardware minimal uh, for the classroom to bu build the cardboard robots and almost everything you will need and even a little bit more will fit in here and you can store it in a one nice package so i can now close it like this it attaches here in this hand for this handle okay and I put my tablets over here and I can go for the for the workshop or for the class. I had this box in my head for quite a long time and now I finally had the chance to had some time to draw it, design it and laser cut it. And I am showing this to you not because I want to start selling these boxes because I don't want to produce them, but you can get the template, laser cut template for this uh, and uh, make it yourself. If you have access to a laser cutting machine in your school uh, or some kind of laser cutting service, then you can cut it from the three millimeter plywood and you only need nuts and bolts and this rubber band, which you can get in any kind of construction store to make it work and store all of your equipment in this one neat package. So I hope you like it. Cheers.